So that is effective CPM. Yes. Yeah. Effective. Yeah. Structure, structure is done. Okay. Yeah. In those, uh, it should include keyword. Okay. Uh, the keyword should be relevant. Okay. Uh, then you, uh, you should have a unique selling proposition. Okay, unique selling proposition. Okay, USP. USP. Prom promotions. One second, one second. Yeah, if you see here, you see we get flat fifteen percent. This is the okay. promotion of the great deals on Patreon. What is U USP there? Huh? Uh, by, unique by selling moment. proposition is uh, get shifting. No, Top get flat fifteen percent is a unique uh, selling proposition. Yes. Huh? Correct, major. Could be yeah. or just top brands could also be. Yeah, unique yeah. USP. Or free shipping also. Yes, you know what I'm As long as you talk about the benefits to the customer, your yeah. ad copy will be so much more effective. Keep that in mind. Okay. Or After you speak, promotion. Yes. First, one, first one. Price. And location. Okay. Promotion in the sense what we have mentioned over in the sec. Uh, promotion. Thank you. Okay. Promotion. Okay. Of great deals. Promotion. Hi hi. Uh, and the price is where in the below at the third ad we have up to rupees ten thousand that will be the price. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's an example. Okay. Uh, in the dues. Okay. Do we mention? Do we need to uh, consider all this stuff or else? Absolutely yes. So yes. For example, in the top ad, he hasn't considered the pricing policy. He has just taken as a uh, flat fifteen percent that will go in the promotions. See, he is not targeting any specific uh, mobile. Dash type. says hi. Sorry. Dash says hi. Hey, Sorry. Hi. <laughs> See, it can be uh, the objective of the campaign there. Okay. okay. So probably he is trying to pull somebody with this as a promotional factor. We are talking about fifteen percent. Here, what might happen is maybe one phone may be for 10,000, but you'll be interested to buy that 20k uh, phone. So basically, but he got you on the page. So basically, right, yes. Also, one more thing uh, it's not always possible to give the price of a product. For example, yeah. there are a bunch of products, right, which will lead you, uh, the advertisement will lead you to. So you can't really quote one price and let it be. That won't happen. On the other hand, when we talk about USPs, I gave you an example of Domino's Pizza, for example. Right. They actually give you the coupon code, the discount. If you use the yeah. coupon code, you'll get a discount. So that will motivate the person to click on the ad, get to that website. So try and give everything positive for the customer in terms of value addition, USP, any special deals and promotions, you should do it here. Hi, Anna. Somebody saying hello. Yes. Then last is CTA call to action. It makes, it just means that you should make people um, to click. Yeah. You should Trigger. drive them to click. Yeah. What, what is CTA? Call, call, call to action. action. So the call to action here would be buy now. Buy now. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Buy now. Okay. Understood. Ah, okay. Now, Manju, for this do's and do's, see, uh, based on our campaign, for example, I will say that my campaign is about the discount now. So I won't talk about the price for you. I will just say that buy mobiles at 15% off or 20% off. So the price doesn't come over here. Only I have to share. share. Please do so share. I think this depends on the if you find it uh, interesting, please my do campaign share. idea. Right? Yes. So no, there is no mandatory that I need to follow all this specific... Uh, Absolutely correct. It's all good to have good, to good have. practices good practices if you follow these things your okay. ads will be so much more effective okay but it's not mandatory okay what is mandatory is the fact that you can have only 25 characters in your headline okay 35 in description line one line two okay display url okay and uh, your destination url can be 1034 or 1024 yes okay uh, also okay. another uh, there are a couple of again there are a couple of doors that you have to keep yeah. in mind okay. which is mandatory of course okay that is mandatory yes uh, so, who's going to talk about don'ts? We will talk about the don'ts as well. So, can I write So, quick, write quickly, write. can somebody su summarize or do's? Uh, I will, I will, I will. Let yeah, me write, good, write, good, write, 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 write. Yeah, uh, Okay. Uh, basically, uh, in the keyword ad copy, uh, do's are, we should include the keyword. Slowly, slowly. One. Uh, one keyword. Keyword okay. should be, that means keyword should be included in the, uh, as per the customer query and also it should take you to the landing page and landing page should include the keyword okay. that is the one and the uh, second thing is that it should be relevant it should not for example if i am promoting for the shoes the keyword should be about the shoes only and the uh, landing page should be on the shoes only it should not take you to some other thing like mobiles or something like that 
okay and uh, we discuss about the Look, structure yeah. of ad copy yeah, which sure. includes headline description line yeah, one yeah. description line two uh, display url and uh, description url uh, wherein descript uh, sorry destination url uh, wherein destination url can't be seen by the customer it's a mm -hmm. back end uh, job wherein uh, once the customer clicks on the link it will take you to the particular landing page that is known as destination url uh, then we spoke about unique selling proposition unique selling proposition is the speciality of our product or speciality of our uh, brand then we spoke about the promotion what the promotion we want to do for example 15 percent 20 percent whatever the discount that we need to do for the on the festival season or whatever it is and we spoke about the price and we spoke about the location geocentric which location we need to target that particular thing and call to action where exactly the customer should buy i mean call to action click now the intent is to get the clicks that is the cpa excellent excellent yeah. thank you Please do so, share. If yeah. you find it interesting, please do share. Okay. So going on to the don'ts of the ad copy. When you are writing all this, probably we are excited to promote our product. So we might have a lot of ideas. So, so I think we need to have this slide. Okay, so these are some of the things what we need to keep in mind when we write an ad copy. So these are the don'ts, as in you should not write these things while you are actually writing an ad copy. You should absolutely uh, eliminate, eliminate this. It. So when uh, when you ended your conversation, you say uh, as your call to action, click here. Okay, that's where it starts. Okay. okay, so click here is a do not use word in your ad copy. But uh, most of the cheapy sites use <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, but Google does not say it. Slack hacks. Couldn't could be ad words. <laughs> Couldn't be ad words because ad words will not accept the ad copy. It will reject the ad copy. Okay, you are saying the ad word should not be a click here. Yeah, this particular word. This so click here word should not be included in your ad copy at all. Okay, okay. Click here. This untested or unchecked. Yeah. Google will check that to ensure that is in line with the policies that Google AdWords has. And click here is definitely not to be used on AdWords. It's it's a clear guideline. So it will disapprove immediately. You okay. cannot run that ad with the words. What about on the banner side? Not no. Okay, banner, banner, run, run, maybe. No, yes. on banner, yeah, banner, 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 So there's another. So basically, intention is we should not uh, guide the customer to come here. Come here. Yeah. It's his wish. It's like yeah. It's if they want, want it, they can take it. Use your it. unique selling proposition. Okay. So that they make that, it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you I can think. make them click. Okay. So this, I think it's not uh, the name. Some okay. Oh. Then uh, you should never use better some than brand. some brand or just better than. You should not use that. No competitors brand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, no. You should. You can't use better than as a word. Okay. Correct. Or you, and you can not even compare it with any brand also. Yeah. If you compare with another brand, basically your quality score will decrease. As simple as that. First of all, you don't be approved. Yeah. It yeah be approved. So better than, faster than, yeah. leaner than, and all that. Try, try to avoid. Okay. <coughs> Number one car in the world, unless and until you have some certificate, uh, certified or certifications that. Uh, do uh, tell that okay, this is number one in quality, okay. or do you have the quality certification? Still, then if you don't have anything valid, please don't write such words. End okay. Uh, for this, I have an example, Manju. Uh, this is which I had seen. Okay, my friend started this uh, 